all the people of Colossus. If then we were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you will appear with him in glory. What St. Paul is trying to say to us is to the point. If by virtue of baptism we have died with him in the waters of baptism, we raised from that water to a new life. And this is the life of grace. So if we have now died to our sinfulness, to our enslavement, let us now really sincerely live as children of God, as children of the Lord. And that's why he said to us, now that you have been born to the water of baptism to be the adopted child of God, Seek what is now above, where Jesus is still at the right hand of the Father. Because that is our destination. The destination where one day we are hope that we are not. And so the things of the earth are not going to be an added value for us. And that's why our focus has to be always on Jesus, who is now sitting at the right hand of the Father. So that when he comes, who is Christ our life, Christ our life, when he comes, we will be with him in glory. It's not what we celebrate every time we come to Mass. When we say the Christ who died, is the Christ who is risen, and the Christ who will come in glory. We are professing our faith and hoping for our destination. We profess, like the apostles and the universal church believes that Christ died for our sinfulness. We believe in the church that Christ has risen and we are his witness in the world. And we hope that that glory that was given to him, that was with him from the beginning, will be our glory when he comes. And that's why St. Paul made it clear to us that now our goal is to be where he is. And so the things of the earth are not going to help us to achieve that goal. And if we are not going to let go of the things of this earth, we are going to be enslaved to things that today they are and tomorrow they are not. But if we focus on Jesus, that he himself has come with a purpose in his life to die for our salvation and to rise to be our hope, then if we really are our thinking is about those things that really going to be when we die, those things that one day we are going to endure, then and then alone, your life is hidden in Christ. Because now we are not anymore enslaved to the evil one, but we are now hidden in Jesus Christ. We are now reflected in the eyes of the Father, in the eyes of His Son, Jesus Christ. And because of that, the Father loves us very much, as He loves His Son very much. And now He is asking us that that Christ, who believe and we know that He is our life, as He Himself said, I am the truth, the way and life. That life that begins in us by the grace of His passion and death, by His passion and mystery in the sacrament of baptism, when we die our enslavement to our sinfulness, will be one day our hope. That we who fix our eyes on Him, that means we are directed by Him, we are aided by Him, we are being interceded by Him at the right hand of the Father. One day, our destination will be assured when we will one day endure forever what we hope for. That the Christ will die for our sinfulness, the 
Christ rose for our sanctification is the Christ that one day he will lead us to our purification.